Hi, third, uh, repasting the razor blade, uh, 2021 13th gen, um, 3070. So I, I did a, um, basically I, we want to use Thunderbolt. And so the CPU typically is a bottleneck in many games. So what we really want to do is kind of isolate the CPU and, uh, GPU. So what I've done is I've uh, repasted the the GPU with MX4, which is slightly lower thermal conductivity, and the CPU with Thermal Grizzly. Uh, this should allow us to uh, get higher clocks on the CPU because the CPU should boost up to 4.6 gigahertz, but it never does due to thermal constraints. And uh, so let's see if, if, it, if it works. Um, first time we had a little bit of a, a issue with the GPU. So the way, the way, the way, uh, we close this first we put the two um corner screws on and i'm not sure if you can see but um yeah you can you can kind of like look uh the the corners so you can see here um it should be here right here uh, these two corners of the heat sink when you also pick up the heat sink you got to be careful not to um, either damage components or actually bend the heat sink so this you need to like use uh, this kind of spatula it comes with a, um, some versions of the cry nut um, then one one idea I've found is very useful I typically lose um, the uh, screws because they're so small so what I would recommend is using like masking tape to kind of like tape the screws because that really, really, really helps. Um, yeah, and obviously there's alcohol to fix things. So let's see. Get this other screw. So the two small screws are for the two corners um, on the razor blades. Um, this is the razor blade 15 so got to be did it be did it these screws are very hard to put so one use magnetic so these are magnetic so this should be better Yeah, the second one is a little bit tricky because it's really um, yeah the the screw is not very easily accessible but okay let's got it in so we got that in now we're going to follow an x pattern to kind of spread out the uh the thermal paste evenly on the heat sink I'm not sure why these small screws, they tend to never, they don't tend to go back in, which is quite weird. I'm not sure why is it, why that is. I have no idea how this works. Um, but uh, let's, maybe it's because it's the large screw. Maybe I put the wrong one. So yeah, this is one of the funny things about these things is it's not clear which screw goes to, so you, it's good to keep track of them. There's a, one of the screws are slightly longer. This is possibly for this one. Don't really remember. Um, that's a little problem, but there you go. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I think the longer screws is is for the 2021 is on the left. So we can also do this one. So let's just see if these things are sticking. Now let's go in an X pattern. First, I would do um, the GPU and then the CPU because the CPU has a slight um, bump, so it should be easier to get it to 
contact. Um, let's get uh, these. Make sure you don't uh, dis dislocate the, the actual springs. So partially put that in. And I partially put the next one in. So for slightly better cooling, um, maybe half a degree or less, I also add a um, copper, copper spring. You can get these on AliExpress pretty cheap. Um, and basically the copper um, sticker goes across and tries to basically use the actual body of the, uh, of the um, fans to spread the heat even further. So that's all I do there. You gotta be careful not to put it in under it because the copper uh, copper sticker actually is uh, conductive, so it needs to be put somewhere which is uh, not dangerous. Um, so yeah, if you're, fortunately, it's lost lost its stickiness, which is a problem. Which I'm not sure how to solve actually, because the sticker I don't have anymore. I mean, I've lost the reel, well, basically the reel somewhere. I don't know where it is. Okay, so we put it here, put the screw, and then one more screw there. I'm trying to do a cross to kind of flatten the tighten the screws because these are spring loaded you're okay to tighten because there's no I mean the spring should resist so you don't need to super tighten but they should be tightened okay um, that should be fine you can now test before closing up the thing you can see the battery's in a pretty good suit we've also installed two um, SSDs so rather than the original and hopefully we did an upgrade for 64 gigs of uh, RAM, but that was um, that was done last year. Last year, when we when when it, when it was new, or the year before when it was new, we didn't think we need to do the thermal paste. But after two years, definitely the original thermal paste needs to be replaced. Let's see if we get this thing working. Uh, right, doesn't like to stick anymore. Oh well. Maybe we'll have to get rid of this sticker because it's not sticking. A sticker that doesn't stick is not a good sticker, which basically means it's dangerous because this can flick around and sh cause a short here. And that's not good. Uh, I'm not sure why it doesn't stick. 
if let's see if uh, some alcohol can help that stick again. Not sure why it's lost its stickiness. I'm not really really um, right. And as ever, we use swaps to clean the heat sink, make it nice and black again. And we also also clean the fans. First thing we did is clean the fans. Uh, See if this masking tape is going to help because right now it seems whatever I do this thing likes to just go back. I'm not sure how it how it managed to become inverse, but yeah, there we go. Let's try and do it this way then. Doesn't like to go that way. Let's do it this way then, which is quite annoying. Okay. This uh, copper strip is annoying. Uh, let's do it. Okay, managed to sellotape it out. I'm not sure if sellotape can resist the heat, but anyways, we'll try it out um, right now without putting the this back. So this actually, the actual body actually acts like a heat sink. So without this, it's gonna be slightly higher temperatures. But anyways, we just gotta make sure that it doesn't crash. <sighs> yep, this is a reverse laptop because you can that's one of the good things about the razor blades is that they're actually quite flat, so you can actually actually quite straightforward to hold them like this without screwing them screwing them in so you can see it's booting windows and we need to clean our laptop because it's way 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 messy so let's uh, get it to can it recognize me no nope. doesn't matter So we can feel here the heat being generated and we just got to check even on the battery I mean if it, if it doesn't have a good connection you can sense the sensors showing ridiculously high power stuff so let's um, look at throttle stop So let's see if we can sustain for mark now on battery power. So this is not going to be very performant, but the idea is that if it, if the cooling isn't good enough, even battery power, it'll crash. Thirty frames.
Still is not going above 53. It's not going above 53 degrees, so that's pretty good. Um, because before I was getting like um, 59 and stuff like that. So it's just on battery power. Now on, on full power, it's going to go, I mean, much faster. But yeah, okay. Uh, so we got that. Basically, it, uh, it's got some contact and we can see what the boost speeds on on uh, power on so let's turn this on uh, see if it voltage control It's not going more, more than 1.5 on, on battery, but interesting. Anyways, um, I need to connect to power. So, seems to be success for now.